Hello, 10th standard. Welcome to Dev Sir's Mathematics again. Lambda is a little bit of You are busy with your exams. Still, exams are going on. Hope your papers were fine, both algebra and geometry. Hmm? I'm sure they were fine. If there is any doubt, then ask me later. We will solve it or make a video of it. Okay. So today I am going to take a problem based on circle hmm? geometry chapter three. Board me pucha tha ye problem. So kya problem hai state abe dekhte ho? So it is only about ten minute video. Video dekho samjho. Try to solve it on your own without looking. Hmm? Can be asked in the exam again. Four mark question. Let us see. Problem set three, question number ten. This is the diagram given. क्या दिया है? Circle with center C, diameter AB, diameter दिया है. AP perpendicular to PQ. PQ is a tangent. Huh? PQ is the tangent. AP perpendicular to PQ. BQ also perpendicular to PQ. Clear? ये दोनों perpendicular हैं. Then to prove CP congruent to CQ. Now in the textbook, the diagram given by us, we CP and CQ join not done. So as construction, we have joined CP, CQ, and CT also. T is the point of contact of tangent PQ. So what is it that we have to prove CP congruent to CQ? Supposing by chance if you miss a step or कुछ वापस देखना चाहते हो, you can just pause the video, go back, check it out. Video का advantage यही है, especially if the video is quality, you will be able to learn everything properly. I'm there with you. So CP and CQ have been joined and we have to show them congruent. Okay? अभी हर एक important sum में अपना key step रहता है. So what is the key step? AP parallel to CT parallel to BQ पहले प्रूव करो AP parallel to CT parallel to BQ ये प्रूव करो की स्टेप याद रखना की स्टेप याद रखने के बाद पूरा प्रॉब्लम सामने आ जाता है becomes very simple so we have to show AP parallel to CT parallel to BQ उसके बाद AC upon CB is equal to PT upon TQ आसान सी बात है, when three lines are parallel, by theorem of congruent intercepts on three parallel lines, what do you get? AC upon CB is equal to PT upon TQ. Okay? ये भी key step में लिखा हुआ है. AC upon BC is equal to PT upon TQ. But AC equal to BC equal to R. इतना ही याद रखना ज़्यादा key step I don't want yourself to get confused. Just remember, three lines parallel दिखाने use that theorem and AC equal to BC equal to R diagram देखके सामने आ जाएगा क्योंकि AC और CB को radius है, it is obviously radius. So both AC and CB are equal to R. No rocket science there. So key step याद है, three lines parallel बताना है, बाकी आसान हो जाएगा. So let us see. प्रूफ चालू करेंगे ऑल सेट तीन चार मिनट में खत्म होगा मे बी फाइव मिनट्स अभी पहले तीन चार मिनट हो चुके हैं होपफुली तो वीडियो शुड नॉट बी मोर देन टेन टू इलेवन मिनट्स सो सी टी परपेंडिकुलर टू पी क्यू इट इज नॉट गिवन अपना फेवरेट थियरम सी टी इज द रेडियस पी क्यू इज द टेंजेंट रेडियस इज परपेंडिकुलर टू टेंजेंट आपको अगर नींद में उठाया और पूछा क्या है तो भी रेडियस परपेंडिकुलर टू टेंजेंट आना चाहिए। It is that so many times you have used it, so it is called as tangent theorem. So CT परपेंडिकुलर टू PQ, tangent theorem। एक लाइन परपेंडिकुलर हो गए। AP परपेंडिकुलर टू PQ, given। BQ परपेंडिकुलर टू PQ, given। 
तो अभी दोस्तों क्या हो गया वॉट एज हैपन ऑल थ्री लाइन आर परपेंडिकुलर टू द सेम लाइन When all three lines are perpendicular to the same line, क्या होता है They are parallel to each other. Simple. So all that we are shown, all, we are shown is <coughs> this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. <coughs> so either you can say corresponding angles are congruent, therefore lines are parallel. ये देखो, ये corresponding angles है, ये corresponding angles है. Therefore the three lines have to be parallel, or just write a simple statement that AP parallel to CT parallel to BQ. All three lines are perpendicular to the same line. बात खत्म. Okay. Now, as soon as you have shown the three lines parallel to each other, what have I said? PT upon TQ is equal to AC upon CB. Theorem of intercepts on three parallel lines. <coughs> When three lines are parallel. If you take the ratio of the intercepts, those two ratios are equal. So, अभी intercepts कौन से हैं? देखो यहाँ पे, AC upon CB is equal to PT upon PQ. Theorem of intercepts on three parallel lines, which we have proved earlier, right? समझ में आया? तो three lines are parallel. Take the ratio. Now starts the fun. AC upon CB. Is equal to R upon R. दोस्तों, AC is the radius, CB is the radius. R upon R. इसमें क्या difficult है? कुछ नहीं है. Just substitute AC upon CB is equal to R upon R. <coughs> AC and BC are radius. लिखा है. R upon R क्या है? One. So PT upon TQ is equal to one. So, as soon as we get PT upon TQ is equal to one, cross multiply. देखो, PT is equal to यहाँ से अगर cross multiply किया, what happens? PT is equal to one into TQ. One into TQ is TQ. Simple. So as soon as you get PT upon TQ is equal to one, directly you can write. Therefore, PT equal to TQ. Both are equal. Cross multiply kya? Hmm? That I have written in the key step. PT equal to TQ. As soon as you get PT equal to TQ, directly go to these two triangles. Dekho. Triangle CPT and triangle CQT. Ye do triangles. Hmm? We have to show them congruent. Congruent Q dikha na hai? Because we have to show CP congruent to CQ. Simple baat hai. So how will you show them congruent? Let us see. PT equal to TQ. <coughs> Proved above. Kaha pe gaya? PT equal to TQ. Proved above. Okay. So I will indicate over here. CT congruent to CT. Our favorite line, favorite step, CT congruent to CT, common side, okay, common segment. So Smiley is coming and telling us CP equal to CQ mat lena. He thinks we might take CP equal to CQ because they look like radii. Like they are not radii, we have to show them congruent, okay. So Smiley ko aata dikhe, malu hai bhai, we know this. CP equal to CQ prove करना है, okay? So क्या हो गया? PT equal to TQ, CT congruent to CT common side and can you tell me क्या है अभी? Angle CTQ congruent to angle CTP. Each equal to ninety. Each equal to ninety. Q by a y because radius perpendicular to tangent. Okay, so these two angles are ninety and ninety. Simple. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent. By which test? See, side angle side, side angle side. 
therefore triangle CPT congruent to triangle CQT. SAS test. Last step now. Because the two triangles are congruent, what happens? <coughs> CP congruent to CQ. Corresponding side of congruent triangles. CSCT. Right? Enjoyed the problem? Try on your own. Could try karo. Try your own tricks. Try your own hint. Okay? Alak socho. If you can, har ek problem ko alak socho nahi sakte. So there are certain steps. But you can learn your own tricks, small tricks. That will make maths more enjoyable. And their sir is always there with you. Right? So enjoy, see it again, Deco, study, karo, share, karo, help out your friends. Helping out your friends will make you more perfect. Okay? So bye for now. See you in another day or two with another quality video. Bye.